Now it's time to start adding name to the ambience of this house. And the way to do that in ArchiCAD is by using the zone two. So I'm gonna go here and before we edit the zone two, I'm gonna show you how we add a zone to the plan. And ArchiCAD give us some options for the methods. One is where we can draw the polygon of the zone. The second one here is where ArchiCAD is gonna detect the walls and add the ambient for us. So for instance, I'm gonna add a zone for this bathroom and I'm gonna let ArchiCAD detect the walls. So I'm just gonna go and click here on this ambient. ArchiCAD has already detected the edges and now ArchiCAD is asking me where I want the zone stamp. So I'm gonna click somewhere in here and there we go. We have a zone with a zone number, a placeholder for the floor finish and the calculated area. So sometimes you don't wanna use this method to add the zone. Sometimes it's better to draw the polygon, for instance, if I want to add a zone for this kitchen, I rather just draw the polyline around. If you get one point wrong, you just use the delete key or the backspace key to go back one point. And I'm going to go here, keep on adding. And the reason why I'm not using the second method here to detect the walls is because I want this room to have different ambience instead of having everything as one ambient. So I'm gonna go and close here. Now ArcCAD is asking me where I want the stamp. I'm gonna put it on the middle here. And now we can go ahead and start editing those zones. So I'm gonna select this one and let's go to the settings dialog. You can use the shortcut control T. Let's put it here in the middle. So the first thing on the name and positioning tab here we can choose the category of the zone. So you can use one of those or you can create your own categories with different colors. Let's keep it generic for now. You can change the name of the zone. So here we're gonna go change it for kitchen. You can change this number of the zone so you can have a unique number for each ambient. I'm gonna keep it four because we're not really gonna show it at this stage of the project. The zone is actually a 3D element. That's why it's part of the design, not part of the documentation. So it has a volume, it has a shape, which is the shape of the room. And here we can, just like the walls, choose if the zone is attached to the ground floor all the way to the first floor with some distance. So I'm gonna change here the subfloor thickness to zero because we don't have a floor thickness yet and the distance to the next one to 300, which is the thickness of our slab. We could also change the polygon, the geometry method of the zone. We're gonna keep it that way. And sometimes when you have a very small room, you may want to rotate the zone 90 degrees here. Now that we have set the name of the zone, we can go ahead to the settings of the zone where we can choose first the content of the zone. So right now we have a lot of content here. I'm gonna remove everything because the only thing I want right now is the zone name and the zone areas. But you can have also things like custom text, windows area, so the zone will detect the windows that we have on the zone. You can have finishes, heights, so on. At this stage on schematic design, you don't really want to show that. You can also edit the zone content or the zone appearance per scale. So right now we are changing how the zone is going to look in the 1 to 50. So the zone is scale sensitive, which means on the 1 to 100, this zone can have different information. So I'm not going to edit everything right now because we're going to stick to the 1 to 50, but this is very handy when you want to show less information when you go to 1 to 100 or even less or no information when you go to 1 to 200. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward here. So basically, if I click on the tab, we can go and change the appearance of all those fields that we could choose on the content here. So the only one we have is this areas. So I'm going to go here to area and volume. And the only thing I want to do here is change the calculated area title to A or if you want area. So it's the prefix before the actual area here. And one last thing is the appearance of the zone stamp here where we can choose the frame style. I'm gonna choose no frame at all. And you can also choose the orientation of the text. If you wanna change more settings like the size of text and things, you have to go back here to the zone stamp where you can go and change everything 
in more detail. But I'm not gonna change anything right now. The zone is looking like this kitchen with the area. That's good. I'm gonna press OK. And there we go. So now you can go ahead and start adding zones to every ambient of this house from basement to the first floor.